Hi guys, it's me, Melissa. How are you? Hope everything is good with you guys. Kind of a dreary day today, um, but we'll get through it. So it's supposed to rain later today. Um, so if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning to my channel, I want to welcome you back. Guys, if you have not hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button for me. Um, so I can produce more videos for you guys. Um, and that gets me more views and things like that. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Um, today I want to do a walkthrough. This is, um, and I've been on a uh, Cairo Marchetti kick here lately. So I think I've gotten five decks from him in the recent month. Um, so this is the Tarot Grand Looks by uh, Cairo Marchetti. And here is the box. I love that lion on the front. So the box is just a regular, opens blue on the inside. Here is the book. Love the front cover of that book. It's so pretty. This is uh, U.S. Games, um, printed by U.S. Games, Cairo Marchetti, and this is a 2019 deck. So we go into the book, and the book uh, has the introduction. And then it goes into the Major Arcana. So it has about, a, it doesn't have much, but just enough for each card. And then it goes, no, he doesn't have anything else in here. So this is a 55 page book. Um, so it has what you need to know in here um, for that. Let's put the book over here. Let's grab these cards. Oh, I wanted to read you the back of this too. Um, here's the back of the box. Um, it says, popular digital artist Cairo Marchetti has crafted the evocative tarot grand looks out of his own creative images. Based primarily on the Rider Waite Smith tarot system, the lavish details in the grand looks uh, also incorporates references to the tarot de, la, de Marcellus, as well as other historical symbols and archetypes. The 56-page illustrated book, Cairo briefly describes the ideas and personal perspectives that, e that inspire each card. So that is the box. So here are the backs of the cards. They're the Jokers. <clears throat> really cool. They are reversible. Cardstock is nice. Um, U.S. Games cardstock. They are on the bigger side than the Rider Weight um, deck that I have. So they're a little taller and a little wider. So we have the Fool. I love the Fool card. He has that Joker hat on there. His digital imagery. Um, I'm not a huge fan of digital. Um, but his imagery tends to... It, they blend together nice. Um, he doesn't have like little heads stuck in places. Um, the blending as well done. The borders on these are beautiful. Here is the magician. I love the owl on his shoulder there. And I don't mind these borders on here. They have them on the same borders on the front and the back of the cards. So here's the high priestess. Very, uh, they're not high gloss by any means, but they're really, they're more of a matte type finish card. And I love that he does the, um, the Empress, um, card here with all the animals on there. I love that. The Emperor, beautiful red robe. Ugh. Here we have the Hierophant. I 
I don't know if these are geese. I'm not sure what these are, but here's the lover's card. Love that. I like his imagery because it's very um, Victorian-ish. Um, I, I just love it. Here we have the chariot. chariot. We have the black and the white horse on there. This lion is so majestic in this card. Here we have the hermit. Here we have the wheel. Beautiful. Here we have all the elements in the justice card. Fire, water, earth, air. The hanged man. Here we have uh, the death card. I love the mask that he's wearing. I love those ravens. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Temperance. Beautiful. Here we have the devil card. I love that. I love his face. Here we have the tower card. Beautiful tower. Um, next we have the star card. If you do not want to look at nudity or have your children look at nudity, you may want to turn away. Here is the star card. We have the moon. I love that. We have the dogs there. We have that crab lobster. We have that moon up there. Oh, that moon's gorgeous. The sun. I love the gold. I love that radiating from that. Such a beautiful image. Here we have judgment. I love the gates. So pretty. Here we have the world. Okay, and we have the Ace of Swords. Ouch. Let me move up here a little. I love that eagle. The Two of Swords. I love that scarf across her eyes there. And that blue just blends so well together. Three of Swords. To me here, it looks like she's uh, defeated, maybe, or exhausted. Four swords. The five of swords. I love the glass. Maybe a uh, clear quartz crystal. Look at the family here, the, the mother and daughter here for the uh, Six of Swords. Six 
Seven of Swords. He's got those swords. Looking back at those two that are left. The Eight of Swords. This is a beautiful Nine of Swords. The figure up there. It's like, oh no. The Ten of Swords. Those swords are about to go in his back there. All chained up. Page of Swords. Here we have the uh, Blue Jay. And he's just got a P up there for Here we have KN for the Knight of Swords. Uh, Queen of Swords, we have the Peacock. I love that the jewel looks like the peacock there. I love the feathers on here, um, the swords, the knight, or the king, I'm sorry. The eagle there. I love the Im imagery of the ace of swords um, with the uh, ocean figure there with the fish. Here we have the two hands joining and the two of cups. Here we have the three of cups, the celebration there. I love this, um, the four of cups. The way he's just looking up there. Love that <coughs> imagery. And like I said, his figures blend so well for digital imagery. Um, he's one of my favorites for digital art. Five of Cups, because I'm not a huge fan of some digital art that's out there. Six of Cups, I love the teddy bear there and the, the little rabbit with that, um, the horse. Little girl swinging up there in that tree. Ugh. Seven of Cups. I love the rainbow on this one. And that beautiful castle in the background. The Eight of Cups. Gorgeous. The Nine of Cups. I love the smile on his face. I love that expression. I love that look. Ten of Cups. I love these two are embracing and they're just sitting there by the fire and the cat is on the back of maybe the couch or just so homey and so feeling of relaxment and content, contentment. Page of Cups. Now that head looks like it's kind of just stuck on there. <laughs> Sorry, Cairo. But that's the only one I've seen so far. Um, here is the Knight of Cups.
Queen of Cups. This one kind of looks the same. Stuck on there. And the Knight also does. We have the um, Ace of Wands. I love this dragon. Love him. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we have the Two of Wands. I love the um, gates opening up and they have the green on the one side and the purple on the other. Love that idea. Here we have the Three of Wands. I love the Joker on the sails of this boat. Four of Wands, Marriage. The Five is very powerful, the Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands, he's defending. Looks like you might be able to defend them off. Eight of Wands. I love the, um, the image in the center, how it's just reflecting out in the middle of those swords. The Nine of Wands, look at that. Mm. Ten of Wands. Page of Wands, there's a head stuck on there. Knight of Wands. See, that one looks great. Queen of Wands. So does this one. I love this um, knight or king. Very handsome. And the last suit, we have the coins for the pentacles. We have that deer down there. This one's funny, the two of coins. <laughs> Three of coins. Four of coins. I love this uh, five of coins. He looks like he's just reaching out. Like, come, take. Come, here you go. Come. Here we have uh, the six of coins. I love that scale there, the balance. Seven of coins. The eight of coins. The um, nine of coins. I love the, the Joker's headdress there. Like the jesters. I love those. The 
It's ten of coins. I love this. Look at his eye. Just looking at that coin. Here we have the page of coins. And there's another head that looks like it's kind of stuck on there. Ah, oh, the knight of coins. Queen of coins. That one kind of looks stuck on there. I don't know why that bugs me, but it does. Um, the king of coins, his head looks like he's stuck on there also. So for the most part, most of those images were well blended. More of the court cards um, that I saw were more look like heads were just stuck. But overall, beautiful deck. I, I like it. Um, so I think I'm gonna edge this in black. I think it'll look really pretty um, edged in black so guys that is oops let me get these cards in the box here so again this is tarot grand looks cairo machete 2019 isn't that what i said 2019 no this was a 2000 yeah 2019 so i hope you guys like this if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me I love you guys. Until next time. Mwah.